Trump would never do one day in jail, basically, is what he's saying. He said he don't believe he said the only reason why they can convict Trump if he actually believed that he did not believe that the election was fraud. If he be, if he believes that he was trying to get it overturned because it was fraud, he know it wasn't, and he if he know he actually lost and he was trying to do it, get it overturned, they're gonna convict him. But if he really believed in his mind that he shit was he feel like he lost. I mean he feel like he was, you know rigged. Then yeah. He get scotch free. Yeah, that's what I was like, damn, I guess. I guess that's kind of I'm smart, man. But hey, y'all, my boy. Uh, I think this is the first. I think we. I think we have talked about uh, uh, smack on here. I don't know if we if we have or we haven't, but yeah, smack is that. yeah. Smack is a YouTuber. He's a podcast host on. Back on Fig, and he's also a podcast host on Community. Is it what is it? Community World. Is it Community World or Fig Community World? Yeah, Fig Community World. Yeah, Fig Community World. Facts. But, uh, yeah, no, 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 but, um, he is a like you just said, yeah, so. Bro has been, you know, you have hella, hella fans, hella people that re- that uh that really fuck with him because he have a real, real uh authentic opinion. Yeah, he do have an authentic opinion, bro. Like for real, for real, it's all love. It's like, and it's all it's all true. He ain't he ain't no gimmick ass nigga. Like he, he just let it he let it out. He be himself. Yeah, but, he he pushing the peace, but at the same time. He's telling you how he really feel. Like at the end oh, of the day, he ain't trying to offend nobody, but he do come, like he's saying how he feel, gang. He ain't never. I don't think he's ever been the type to like, you know, beat around the bush on some shit. Facts. Facts. Um. But it, there has been some. It's been a little while. We haven't really covered it, but. He had got into a accident on motorbikes, man. Uh, and his co-host, T. Rail, excuse me, uh, T. Rail has been in a, a motorcycle accident himself, and he he didn't lose his own, but he lost a lot of feeling in his own, where he couldn't react to, and you know, not the normal shit. So my boy Smack got into the accident and he has been in the hospital since. It's probably been like a maybe a month, month and a half he's been in the hospital. Yeah. Easy. Maybe I'll say maybe a month he's been in the hospital. Uh and I think it's taking a toll on him. Um we're gonna pull it up so we can react to it. I know Trill probably has something to say about this. So let's pull it up and react to it real quick. Man, here we go, dog, with this shit. And here you go, man. My boy Smack, man. Shit, man. You know, his mama called me, and I'm like, bruh, what happened, homie? Please, you know, don't tell me. Don't tell me that shit. She was like, oh, no, you know, he's talking. He's alive. (laughs) The incident he was in, you know, it's just shit that just happens. Riding on the side with his homie or whatever the case may be. headed, Headed home. And, you know, somebody hit a car, mm. you know what I'm saying? And then from that car, it hit smack, you know what I'm saying? And they was, mm. you know, Copa said yeah. they going to the house. It's, it's all calm, it wasn't you know even what I'm saying? like a movement It like wasn't that. even like no crazy yeah. shit and um, niggas drunk on a bike and niggas doing yeah. that. It wasn't even, he wasn't oh. even that case, you know what I'm saying? He was just heading home. And, you know, before you get home, you know, that unexpected shit always happens for some motherfucker not paying attention. You feel me? Like it's always like that with motherfuckers on the motorcycle. Like it's always somebody 
You know what I'm saying nine times out of ten, it's either you was you know you was drunk or you nigga wasn't paying attention. You know what I'm saying nine times out of ten, it's probably a nigga that wasn't paying attention and didn't see you. Um, but man, yeah, prayers up for my boy. We I love my boy. You know what I mean? Like he be doing his thing, like and he 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 deserves nothing but the best. You know what I mean? Like he deserves nothing but the best. He deserves nothing but the best. I ain't even gonna lie to you. We're wow. I didn't know that, man. I didn't know that about this situation, bro. Yeah. Um, Smack. Yeah, I was going to say that, but Smack got hit on some random stuff. Yeah, it was on some random shit, bro. And, like, to be honest, if you want to be honest, Smack is more important than a lot of people to the hip-hop industry if you think TDE is important. Really? He has has co-writer on three different songs with TDE that are platinum. For real? Yeah, he's a co-writer on three different songs that are platinum. Damn. He's He didn't write anything. He's just the voice on a lot of the songs where they're talking and shit. And Smack is on the voice for Schoolboy Q, Groovy Q, and uh-huh. something else. And then he's on uh, uh, Kendrick's album. Wow, what he's the on fuck? Him or one of the ones before. So Smack is important to the hip-hop industry. Plus... A lot of these West Coast niggas wouldn't have like the the buzz they have without Smack. Smack does a lot of like background. He's your hype man. He's the uh, what do you call that? Flavor Flav of the industry. So mm. he's been on stage. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. He's been on stage with everybody from TDE. He's mainly Schoolboy Q's hype man. And then he did hype man for RJ. He did hype man for YG. He did a hype man for uh multiple big artists that do that type of that boom boom clap type music he does a lot of like shit for them niggas and uh smacks a part of like a huge biker club in the in socal that like pushes the peace they be out there giving away food giving away shit to the community you know what i'm saying somebody who ain't got bills or rent this month shit come through here we might be able to help you type shit right. so Wow. Yeah, Smack is really like somebody to the community. Even though he a wild asshole, he might punch you in your mouth and all this other shit. The shit that he do for people that are around him is catastrophic. That's dope. That's dope. Uh, Smack's called in. I guess he's still in the hospital. Like we say, he's still in the hospital. And he has something he want to tell T. Run. What's the deal, bro? Yeah, man, I just want to tell everybody, man, I need to call up here, man. I need some help, bro. I'm tired of being up here, it's real. And I was with the two, bro. I'm starting to lose it up here, dog. I'm not trying to lose my feet, dog. And you see, like, I try to cut me loose, too, man. I just want to come on, dog. I just want to come on, man. I we, can't do it no more. Man, we going to get you out of there, man. Don't worry about nothing. I need you, too, real. I need you, dog. I can't do it, man. I swear to God. I want to go home, man. I'm gonna cut my foot off. I'm gonna go home. I ain't bullshit, dog. Yeah, hey, Smaggy. Bro, look. I don't know if you can hear hear me. No, you can hear me. Yeah, hey, Smaggy, listen, man. Like I told you, man. Listen, what you can't do, whether it's jail, whether it's whether it's up in the hospital, whether it's in your house, dog. Like your mental. I told you how much love you got out here for you. It's a whole lot of love out here, out here for you. You know what I'm saying? So the best, the best thing, you ain't lost your foot at this point. So your mental does a lot of that shit for you, though. So don't be thinking like you're about to or nothing like that. I understand you're going through it, but you got a lot of love. Lean on that, man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't losing no foot. You ain't lost no foot, so we ain't even talking about no losing no foot right now. Just keep your mental until shit get worked out. It's just it's, it's the reality, and we gonna keep we gonna keep working through it, though, bro. But don't lose yourself in that motherfucker, bro. Okay, I just want to get this over with. I'm tired of cutting on my body. I can't take no more of these surgeries, dog. Nah, we gonna get you out of there, boy. Watch this. You know what I mean? Don't worry about nothing. We got you, man. <laughs> bro, insurance is a motherfucker for all you street niggas who don't put money in and don't record taxes or don't do none of that, please go get Medi-Cal or Medicare or Meta, whatever you can. It's free. Just go down to the government building, go get you some Medi-Cal. You could do the shit online, gang. 
but at the same time, it's not going to get you into the best hospitals. So, having, bro, smacks in that bitch because he ain't got it. He ain't got no, He might have insurance. He might not. And if that's, he do, that's 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 people are doing the surgeries. But if you're at a bad hospital, I mean, if you're at a hospital that's not suitable, you might have to move around, gang. But you can't move around without your own insurance that you're paying for. <laughs> Oh, bro, I just, I'm going to just say, bro, smack your head up. Uh, I understand this hospital can be like jail, man. You got people telling you what you can and what you can't do. You can't go nowhere. You got to eat what they give you. Man, you got, it, it's hard, dog. It's hard whenever you and some shit like that, man. But I just say, keep your head up, bro. It's God don't put God put his toughest toughest people through the toughest shit, bro. So uh and don't think you're gonna lose your leg, man. God has to let it say so. So uh keep your head up, bro. Keep your head up, man. And pray for the family for real. I'm not gonna lie, I've been peeping in and I watched yesterday's episode and they said they're they're giving it one more day. So I think Smack might be moved around if they haven't fixed everything by now. He'll be oh, they, around by tomorrow. That's what they've they been saying. It's about the money situation? Uh, More than likely, it's about the money situation. And now T-Rail is just going to up the money. T-Rail just said, fuck it, I'm going to just up the bread. I just got to wait on money. Like, more than likely, you're just waiting on a lump sum from YouTube or a lump sum from something, you know? From his business, he still got Sterella. They still got uh, Swish. He got other little companies that he's running. So probably just waiting on the lump sum to hit the bank account and then throw it over there towards what he, what he can help with. You know what I mean? That's, that's crazy. I don't know. It sucks, though, gang, because we, we, we trust these medical professionals to do the right thing or know everything. You know what I mean? And yeah, in that bag they don't give they don't they don't give a fuck about none of that unless you thought yeah exactly bro like i've had family members who needed facial reconstructive surgery because of an incident they had nothing to do with somebody did something to them and you know they had to fork over all that money for them surgeons to come out and fix the man up it's like you you come off of all this money that insurance is not going to cover you know what I mean? So it's like, there's only so much they can do. And they billing the shit out the insurance. They telling you they can't do nothing, but they done bill the insurance for 20 bands for some, for some simple shit that they could have did. They only doing $1,500 worth of work on. You crazy. That's how they doing. You know insurance companies in, in the, or the hospital. They gonna bill oh, the shit no, out the sure. lie uh-huh. about everything that they did. For sure, man, for sure. But prayer keep y'all keep your 